Hi, it's Tracy from the Creator's Loft. Good afternoon. We're back. I just wiped the table off that we're going to do the pour on with some rubbing alcohol here. Just to prep it a little bit, help the paint adhere. I will be putting um, the paint on, letting it dry, and then we're going to seal it. So let's get our paint together. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's move this real quick. Over here, I got my paints all here on the table. So we're going to start out with, let's see, let's start out with some orange. This is from the dollar store, actually. Now I have some paint left in this, um, in this cup from the last time I poured and it just stayed perfectly fine. I put it in a Ziploc bag and it's nice and liquidy. So it's like, it's like a purple, a light purple. Put some white in. Then let's see, let's add some pink. This is from the dollar store. And there's somebody texting me. I'll talk to them later. All right. And these are Artist Loft pouring paints. Uh, they come pre-mixed, so you don't have to add any Floetrol or water to them. So we'll add some of that. It's like a turquoise blue. This is a deep blue. And this table's been sitting in my spare room. I didn't put it out on the deck this year because, you know, we rearranged it and there wasn't any room for it. And I thought, you know what? Let's try. Let's try putting some paint on it. Because you can pour on glass. You just got to seal it when you're done. Dollar Store Purple. It's just a different shade of purple. And then I think I'll add some more white. Or maybe a dash of, oh, maybe a dash of black. Put some black in there. Oh, I've got to bring out my can opener for my, oh, get this open. Wait. And use what you have. I don't want to leave you guys to run in the house and get my can, the can opener. Put some black in there. All right, let's get back to the white. You know, this is not the exciting part of it. But it is what it is. And there's some gold. I don't even know if this gold will work. I've got a little bit here left. Let's see. Yeah, it's coming out. All right. Let's see now if we've got... I don't even know if this is enough paint. I've not even... I've never done it on a glass table, so I'm not exactly sure. It's going to be over here now so you can see the glass table. We'll do a tree ring again. Right in the middle. Maybe a traveling tree ring. Hmm. It's coming out very interesting. If you leave the paint in the cup that you have left over and you put it in a Ziploc bag, it uh, it should stay for you. I mean, mine's been, it's been over a week and mine was fine. Oh, I can see the gold coming through. A little bit of gold that we have. So let's tilt. Make sure you guys don't see me tilt in here. It's hard because it's clear glass. This way. Maybe 
we will add a, just a tad more paint. Let's see. Mm. I'm like, I need some more white, I think, because the the dark, it's getting, it's pretty dark on this end here. I hope you can see that. Let me adjust the camera here when I'm done. The sun is in my eyes here, and let's just adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so now you won't see me, but you'll see. See how it's a little dark right there? So we're going to add some white and maybe some. some of this blue, which is the turquoise, and maybe some more pink, because the pink seemed to wind up all the way over here. Let's see came out great. My bag here. Oh, I put a bag on the ground here so that the drippings would go on the bag. Just a trash bag. And now we're going to tilt. And I'm absolutely liking the way that it's coming out. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then what I'll do when this dries is I've got some polycrylic downstairs. I'll take that and you just put it, you know, kind of put it over the top just to seal it a little bit. Put a clear coat on. There we go. It's starting to drip now, which means it's to the edge. Let's get that edge covered. I'm kind of liking this abstract view. Told my husband earlier that we were going to I was going to be painting this and he's like oh paint the whole house I said you want a multicolored house don't tempt me <laughs> I will do it it's just ever so slowly moving this way okay it's just ever so slow and it's getting really cool on the other side too not only are you getting this side the underneath part here, you're even getting, um, you know, a different design. Pro this would be a lot easier if it wasn't already attached to the table, but you know, got to do what you got to do. paint on this end. So we'll start with blue this time. Pink, because I'm really loving this pink color. And we'll try some more orange, even though there's orange there. Yeah, you know, this is, uh, you got to play with it, especially when you're starting out and you're not sure how much paint you're going to need. I'd rather keep filling my cup and uh, then have too much paint and it runs over and then you have mounds of paint. Less is more, as they say. Get this way here and the twirl. I mean, hope you guys can see that. I can't see the camera because the sun's right on it. Let's try to get some orange on the edge there. And then we'll bring it back this way. And what's nice about these paints is they 
if you leave it like this, it'll, it'll move until it's dry, which is nice. You can see it's coming down this way yet. It doesn't instantly dry, even though it's in the sun. It doesn't instantly dry. the edges here. Oh, this one here. This edge right here. Come on. There we go. And that's okay. If it's okay. Okay. Oh. Alright, so now we gotta get just the edges here. But I'm really liking the way that it's coming out. I don't want to help you along because see right down at the bottom here we need a little bit more oh my neighbor's dog you'll see him running around all right come on uh -huh. we want you to move that way oh here it comes you can see the black coming through and the orange so we might hit that edge yet okay like I said, this would be a lot easier if it was like I was doing it like a um, a canvas, it being on the table. Although I should, ha I have to say, it being on the table on the legs is making it a lot e making it easy to you know move it around. So here it is. It's pretty. I like it. I like the way it came out. It's different on both ends and in the middle. It's just got really great lines. We'll let it sit and I'm sure even more cells will come through. But it's a, it's way better than having a plain glass top. So thanks, thanks guys for uh, joining me. And I will post a picture later when it dries of what the final product looked like. Here, let's move you up so you can see me now. Yeah. I will uh, post a picture of what it looks like when it's done and dry. But they, I'll give it all day to dry. It's in the sun now, so it should dry fairly quickly. So thanks for joining me. I'll come up with something else soon. So have a good afternoon in the meantime. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.